Hey guys, this video is about three weeks old. I didn't get a chance to upload it and this was when I was on the boat. I just wanted to post this update on the Cubic Mini Cub and how it was performing. Here's what I'm burning guys. I've kind of run out of dunnage. Well, not run out, just uh, haven't been able to process any of it. And uh, this stuff I'm using, it comes in the bite sized pieces about the size of a brick and they fit into this guy uh, perfectly into this uh, Cubic Mini. Um, and uh, they're made locally, I believe. I'll find the uh, other box. I think I get 12 of these pieces in a pack and they're really heavy, real dense um, for about four bucks. So I've been burning this lately and that's it there. And Bioflame. And they burn really good. They last a long time too and that's them right there. Here's how I'm lighting them. Uh, I've got a pack or a couple packs of the starter log stuff, you know, this stuff. And I just break a chunk off, a bite sized piece, and I'll put it inside. I don't have any kindling here. Um, that's why I'm doing it this way. I grab one of these guys and just stick them in there. And I put them on top and uh, let this guy hang out a bit. And that's it, ready to go. And how I light this is. These little guys don't light like instantly, so I, I make little uh, sticky bombs for them. So here's how I make those little bombs and sticky bombs. These uh, little guys are the way to go. I have this in a survival pack. It's a fire starting, my fire starting kit and Vaseline with cotton balls, man. It's, they're epic. And like I say, those little blocks don't light uh, very well with a match or you go through a bunch of matches. I, I just use one of these. And really you should kind of mash this into the... Uh, the cotton kind of get it really mashed in there and there you go and then I'm gonna stick it on there like that and that should do it and there you go uh, again no kindling and you know what I just want to light this thing quick I'm not gonna screw around um, you know what it's kind of weird on the boat you can't you don't really get the pleasure and I, I do think it's pleasurable to chop wood and, and uh, process it you know you're not gonna stack it on the deck and start slamming an axe around up here um, so it is different. I'm not saying it's worse or better, but it is uh, definitely different than what I'm used to. So these things light up great, guys. And again, you should put this in your fire kit. Uh, I put them in like a film uh, container. I put a bunch of those stuff them in, and that's uh, part of the survival pack fire starting kit. They work great. Um, and yeah, you just give them a little light, and there they go. So that's going to uh, light that little fire starter block underneath and this thing will get going. These guys take a little bit to get going, but once they're going, they're awesome. Hey guys, quick update on the Cubic Mini wood stove in the boat. It's been awesome, amazing. I use it every single day, um, in the evening especially, in the mornings as well. Sometimes, usually I just get up and get out of here, but uh, some mornings I'm hanging around having a coffee. I light this thing up and it heats the boat up real fast. Uh, I'm going to kind of go through it with you today and, and how I just lit that. Um, and uh, we'll take a look, one last look at it here and uh, my thoughts on it. I've got some wicked patina on that uh, stainless steel stack. It's just looking beauty. I've had no issues with heat um, up here on that little uh, detail I did. Uh, it's just been amazing. Just uh, I, give it, I give it two thumbs up for sure, 10 out of 10. Uh, I'll get this thing going here and I'll kind of show you uh, what kind of heat we get out of this guy. If you didn't see the other videos, I am in a boat. It's about 400. I keep throwing square foot numbers around and I'm wrong on all of them. It's about 400-ish square feet. Um, and uh, there it is there. I did some other stuff on this boat. Look at my weather stripping still there. Um, that uh, I'll leave links to in the bottom here in the description. But this is the boat. So it definitely is a little bit different doing this on a boat. Um, I could stack some wood out on the back deck, but um, again, it's just a little bit different. I can't really process it here on the boat, and it's not like I can just go outside and start uh, chopping stuff down or, or processing it. So yeah, definitely different doing things on a boat, but it has been fun. There you go. It's uh, starting to go. That's how it kind of lights up using this technique, if you call it that. But this is what I've been doing just because it's fast. It's uh, fast and furious. I just want to get a fire going. I don't want to mess with it, and this has been working for me. So here's our temperature here, guys. It's about 60 Fahrenheit. It's nice. It's a beautiful day today. It's sunny, uh, but once the sun goes down, it starts to get cold quick. Uh, but that's what we're looking at now. And we just lit the stove, and let's take a look at it once I get this thing going.
Hey guys, it's starting to go here. Didn't take long, and that's what it's looking like now. And again, that's one of those beauty blocks. And temperature-wise, um, obviously this isn't very far from the stove, uh, but what are we at? Just going over 70 degrees here Fahrenheit. Um, so it doesn't take long for this thing to start kicking out some heat, that's for sure. Not bad, I put a second one on there and it's really cooking. Um, I don't know how long that took, but not long. And it's really warm in here. I get this place up to about 80 degrees, which is uh, too much for sure. Um, I have this guy fully open and I'll taper this one off here um, just so I don't burn through the wood so quick. Uh, this stuff lasts um, like it is now. When I've got one down to about half, I'll stick another one on and it lasts to about five in the morning. I'm not 100% sure what this stuff's made out of. I think it's hardwood um, sawdust. Um, and it's very dense, uh, like I said, but uh, it lasts almost till the morning. And I guess it depends on what you're burning, how long it will last, but that's uh, how these things go. I'm gonna put another one of these guys on and look at those coals. So I totally recommend uh, the Cubic Mini. They haven't paid me for this. I paid for it with my own hard-earned cash, but it's an awesome beast. Uh, it's just a great little stove and it's been amazing on the boat. So I just want to give you guys an update on that. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I suggest you do. Thanks for watching. So this has been cooking for hours now and it is hot. And up here, that little shroud I made, it's hot to the touch, but not burning. Um, and this aluminum guy is just warm. Headliner is good, no issues. Nothing going on there. But yeah, that works. That's good.